this time and next week we'll be hours away from crowning our 2015 Betway Sports Personality of the Year. After speaking to our two Jersey hopefuls, it's now time to hear from the first Guernsey contender. Yes, in 2015, table tennis player Alice Loveridge won a British University's double and three gold medals at the NatWest Island Games. The Sarnian has enjoyed success at every level she's played at and has been reliving the best bits with our sports personality presenter, Rob Jones. For almost a decade, one name has stood out in Channel Island's table tennis. Guernsey table tennis star Alice Loveridge. Plus, Alice in Wonderland, Guernsey's top player. Guernsey girl time. Alice Loveridge won three Her events. star player Alice Loveridge. <laughs> The child prodigy who fulfilled her potential. Initially, Alice Loveridge took up the family sport of tennis. She soon moved indoors, though, where the young upstart caused a family fallout. Your brother plays a lot of tennis. He tried table tennis once here, and, and what was the result? Yeah, um, I played with him at the centre. I think I was probably, you know, the year or two after I started. And we used to play a lot around home, but yeah, he came to the centre and. Um, lost against me and broke my bat, which I later got the blame for. That may have been the end of her brother's brief career, but Alice was just warming up. At 13, she moved to Sheffield to train more, played tournaments up and down the country and overseas. Quite a commitment for someone so young. At 13 year old, Alice was traveling the country on her own. You know, she was leaving Guernsey Airport and traveling to Czech Republic all over the place. Not many 13 year olds would do that. And Alice did that. I mean, that's quite a commitment to be able to do that on your own at 13. It just shows her passion for the sport. And in particular, she has a passion for the NatWest Island Games. She's competed in Rhodes, the Isle of Wight and Jersey. Nine gold medals. Perhaps the most memorable coming at her debut games nine years ago. On her birthday in the women's singles final, a colossal performance to take the title in Rhodes. Did that feel really significant at the time? Yeah, it did, yeah. Felt like I'd won the World Championships. <laughs> um, yeah, it was my big, I think it was my first sort of big win. Um, and yeah, to be there, sort of in Rhodes with the Guernsey team, um, just 13. And it was on my birthday as well, so yeah, it was a really big win. Best birthday ever? Yeah, <laughs> one of them. And so to this summer, where she came into the 2015 Games having already won a British University's double. The Sarnians won a tight team final against Scotland. Dawn Morgan arrived to lend a hand in the doubles before a third successive singles gold. Guernsey ended third in the medals table and Loveridge was hugely influential in the island's late rally. There's various people in various sports who, when, when you see their name, you can almost put, pin your hopes on them. You've got, if not, you've got like the, uh, the, under God, the underdog situation where... Um, you know, you hope they're going to do well. Then you get various other athletes. Alice Loveridge is one of them who, when you see her name, yeah. Now her name is one of an elite quartet vying for your votes. So often head of the table, can she also claim the most craved crown in Channel Island sport? Like Well, joining us now to talk more about Alice is her doubles partner in Guernsey, Dawn Morgan. And Dawn, you must love playing alongside her. Yeah, she's a pleasure to play alongside. It's, um, it's always uh, a good match and it's, she's always good fun to play with and, you know, very dedicated and keen to play. And very dedicated from a very young age as well. Yes, I think we always knew when she, when she first started she had that natural ability and watching with, uh, with interest as how far she would progress and look at her now. Uh, it must have been very special to be part of that Guernsey NatWest Island Games team. It, it was. It, it was um, the competition gets tighter and tighter each year. The opposition, the opposing islands get stronger. I think the quality of the women in particular has improved vastly over the last probably six years. Um, and Alice always manages to step up and beat these new rivals. She's had success at pretty much every level she's played at. What makes her such a special player? I think she's got that, um, she always looks cool, calm and collected when she's playing. And I think regardless of, of what the position is in the game, whether she's got a comfortable win or whether she's trailing behind, you could never tell from looking at her 
you know, what's going on in her head. She just knows what she's got to do. She concentrates and executes what she needs to in order to pull through and win. And even when she's trailing, she comes back and she, she wins. You can never write her off. And how much of an inspiration is she to the island's younger players? I think she's a fantastic inspiration. She, she doesn't show emotion, as I said, when she's playing. And she's an excellent role model in that she, she sets the right way and the right um, personality when you're playing for the youngsters to follow. And to sum up, why should she be Sports Personality of the Year in your view? Uh, in my view, she's, she's been a very dedicated from a very young age, put an awful lot of time and effort into it. She has brilliant skills and she's also a lovely person and fantastic person to play with and compete with. Yeah, a ringing endorsement. I'm sure she'll be happy with that. Dawn Morgan, thanks for your time.